Ladies and gentlemen, transport enthusiasts, welcome back to Transport Inc. That's right. Okay, so little update of exactly where we are. Everybody is striking. Everyone is striking. Yeah, everyone is striking. The game is angry at me because uh, a bus in Sweden, unfortunately, has fallen to a state of disrepair. Uh, and the reason that that is the case is because the depot in Copenhagen is just far too tiddly. It is uh, it is far too small. It is far too small for uh, for what we need it to, to do. And so, therefore, we need to make sure that we get it upgraded. Right, let's unpause and immediately get down to business. So... What's a priority over the course of today? Well, it's a very, very, very important question that we need to discuss at length, I would suggest. Right, so, this this route from Tbilisi to Minsk, you know, this is... It's, maybe it'll be something one day, but I don't think it's going to be something uh, quite yet. Uh, we, we, we very well may decide to eventually deploy a train on this crazy cross-continental route... But nah, not for now. Not for now, I don't think. Uh, what we do want to do, what we very, very, very much want to do is see if we can try and take over Dependable Highway Express and hopefully get access to all of the countries that they are currently operating in, i.e. Turkey, i.e. what is this? Bulgaria, Greece, etc. All of these countries around here. Uh, that is definitely the plan. That is what we are going to try and do. Right, let's get this depot upgraded as soon as we have the ability. Upgrade the capacity. Upgrade the capacity. Spend 20 grand on that. Brilliant. Okay, the financial situation. The financial situation is good. Is very, very good. I know, I know, I know, I know, I know, I know. Frequent viewers of the channel will be, will be intimately familiar with the fact that... Uh, how? How are you on strike again, train drivers? What a joke. Uh, yes, viewers of the channel, regular regular channel channel viewers will be familiar with my with my tried and tested method of uh, of acquiring credit and then immediately spending it and then taking out more credit. Yes, it's referred to as a a bridging loan in uh, in the world of Orbital Potato. Either way, I think we're quite happy with with how things went. I mean, look 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 look. We're we're not doing anything at the moment. We're just come on, seriously. Seriously, okay. You know what? Pay the train drivers a little bit, a little bit more. I am in a pay them off. I'm sick and tired of dealing with this. Okay. Anyway, the point that I was gonna make is that if you just look at our net worth, you can see that it's just climbing. And I don't want to say that it's climbing more rapidly than all of my competitors, but it does actually look, it does actually look like it's climbing at a fairly decent rate. Like it is honestly ridiculous. It's uh, it's insane. Where's this train going? Where's this train going exactly? I don't know, but look at that. It's climbed 100,000 bucks over the course of like, I don't know, a month or something? Either way, it's it's really, really good. It's really, really good. How much money are we gonna need in order to buy out Dependable Highway uh, Highway Co? Highway Express. Dependable Highway Express, that's the one. And look at that, we've got a huge amount of credit that we can get access to, which I'm absolutely going to, which I'm absolutely going to do. We've got what, a, 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 around about 10, 10 months probably of debt payments remaining but this is the big one here or one of the big ones I should say yeah there are two big ones that we've got one that was originally for 700,000 and that's almost been paid which is uh which is real good and we've got access to a 13% interest rate which is honestly incredible that's really really good very very happy with that i mean do we want to throw any more do we want to throw any more money into the system or do we want to do we want to perhaps just wait do we want to perhaps just wait until we got a little bit more cash? You know what? We can we can go for another route. Uh, what is that? 84 to 164 miles an hour. Let me have a little look at exactly what we need for this. 84 to 164 miles an hour. Let's go. Let's go for the big, the big, the big vehicle here. All right. Immediately get started on that. Sure. I know what I said. I know what I said. I know what I said. I said, let's not spend any more money. And then immediately I go on spending money. It's a... It's the darndest thing. It's the darndest thing. Right, let's get rid of our Tbilisi to Minsk route. I also want to see if we can start doing some stuff in... Uh, in, uh, in Belarus, if at all possible. What the heck is that? The thing is, is that in this area, it's actually fairly well serviced already. Yeah, what about first class passengers? First class passengers, 96 to 100 and something miles an hour. 
Yeah, you know what? Give me a first class route along this line here. Yeah, I think that's probably workable. Pretty happy with that. Very, very good indeed. Right. I mean, what else? What else can we really do? There's just not there's just not that much. There's just not that much capacity in these uh in these parts of town, to be honest. You know, there is there is a little bit of there is a little bit of passenger capacity, but not much. Not very much at all. Right, here's what we want to do. Here's what we want to do. Let's pay off that loan. Let's see if we can pay off any other loans, if at all possible. Maybe we take out a big loan to try and pay off all of the littler loans. That would be an immediate way to free up like a whole bunch of money. But to be honest, I think we just want to I think we just want to cruise. Just cruise. Just wait until we've got all of the all of the ability to pay back some uh, some loans. There we go. We can now take out a million a million dollar loan. Our our valuation is about to crest four million dollars, which is great. I mean, you know, still we're a little bit we're a little bit behind competitors, but I actually think that that's not too that's not too problematic. Uh, has anyone decided to get into the Ukrainian market? Nobody is in Ukraine apart from this guy, Hyper Velocity Inc. And Hyper Velocity Inc. look like they're maybe just going through. They might not even be there fully. Uh, ooh, oh, 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 I've spotted myself an opportunity here. Minsk to Kaliningrad. Alrighty, let's freaking go. Let's freaking go. Let's do this. This this sounds good. So, uh, we did a passenger survey. That's right. They want 144 miles an hour. Or 140, 145 to 200 and something miles an hour. So, I mean, that basically means that we need to get the million, the million dollar train there. Which I would describe as problematic. Very problematic. Or, alternatively, we can just get an upgrade. We can just get an upgrade here. It looks like there is actually quite a lot of competition for this for this route. Maybe I'm not interested in the route then. Hmm. Yeah, you know what? I might, uh, I might just not, I might just not, uh, go for it. Okay, any other, any other loans that we can pay off just purely to square everything away? That's what I'm kind of curious about. Three payments. Three payments at 10%. I mean, we could, we could do this. We could do this. Look at this. We can take out a loan. We can take out a loan of... Look at the look at this look at this the we hardly we hardly spend any money on financing this loan This is a very very good attractive rate of interest here. Okay, so here's what I'm gonna do I'm gonna pay off all of the loans that I have That I have got outstanding which is great which frees up I mean so much money frees up so much money and now we are paying a, a really 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 tiddly rate of interest still leaves me with 88 grand in the bank still very very happy with that Okay. Any other routes that we want to see if we can try and capitalize on? Oh, we can't even... Can't even connect you up. I mean, we could go for an airline... We could go for an airline license purchase. But I feel like that is a bad idea from the perspective of... Um, like, every, every perspective, actually, now that I think about it. Mostly because it would end up being terribly expensive and probably not that worthwhile. I think we are going to stick a, a train on this uh, on this route here. Vehicle damage, by the way. Is that my competitor deciding to, to mess around with me? That may very well be the case. Also, I'm going to get some increased capacity, I think, on this train. Oh, actually, no. Tell a complete lie. I'm not. I am going to get higher speed, though, as soon as I possibly can. Because I think higher speed is going to attract a couple more customers. And therefore... That will make me slightly more money, which is good stuff, if you ask me. How many passengers are waiting? 116. Yeah, you know what? There's actually there's actually a good amount of money to be made on the Kaliningrad to Minsk route, I think. Yeah, very, very happy with that. Okay, expanding into Ukraine. Expanding into Ukraine definitely, definitely, definitely seems like, a, seems like an opportunity. There's a flood. There's a flood over here. I think I'm happy. I think I'm happy with pretty much everything that's occurring. You, what are you doing? You're doing the Copenhagen. You're on the Copenhagen to Aris routes. 
which is pretty miserable, to be honest. Yeah, I think I might straight up sell this bus. I don't think there's... Yeah, I don't think there's anyone. I don't think there's anyone... Uh, I don't think there's anyone there. Yeah, get that get that sold. There's nobody that is looking to be transported via... Uh, via bus between Copenhagen and Aris. Okay, that's cool. There's no... Is there a railway line? There is a railway line here, actually. I can't see it because it's hidden. But... There is a lot. Let me do a survey in here. 106 miles an hour to 186. You know what? Give me another bus on this. Uh, or give me another... 106 to 186. Do you know what? Can I... Yeah, can I do that? Excellent. Okay, so there is a lot of cargo waiting here. There is a lot of cargo waiting there. So 80 bits of cargo going to be moved by road. Or 90 bits of cargo going to be moved by road. And 80 going to be moved by train. There might be a little bit of a cargo capacity oversupply there. But, uh, you know, I'm, I'm hopeful that we can manage to avoid that. Okay, looking good. We're now reliably able to muster at least 300k a month, which is very, very, very impressive. Yeah, very, very, very happy with that. Okay, so the game plan as it stands at the moment. Maybe pay off this loan. Maybe we won't have to. I don't know. Is that my train? That is my train. That is my train, and it is looking... It is looking grand. Yeah. Also, we should maybe return to the UK and see what we can do see what we can do here. Is there a lot of cargo that needs to be transported? I tell you what, Edinburgh to... Edinburgh to London? Edinburgh to London is a juicy bounty of a cargo route that is waiting to be transported. We've done the survey. The survey is between 180 miles an hour. I tell you what, let's see if we can try and get the 500,000 train here that carries 160 bits of cargo. Yeah. I think that would be, I think that would be great, because we've got what? Excuse me? How many bits of cargo? I can't see, because there's too many flipping vehicles on the road. Yeah, there's 404 bits of cargo that need to be transported along that route, so... I mean, it's it's basically a necessity that we get a, a high-capacity train for this, for this route. So we're gonna go, we're gonna go for this one. A low-tier train used to transport a small amount of cargo. A cheap common train. Okay, fine. Yeah, yeah, whatever. We're gonna go for that. Okay, anyway, so... Between between the episode starting, we've already managed to expand our valuation by, what, like a million bucks? Something like that? I mean, it's it's actually fairly ridiculous. And that's before the acquisition has, uh, has taken place, which I am determined is going to take place. Or at least we're going to try and get it. Whether that, uh, whether that makes much of a difference, we'll have to wait and see. Right, let's turn the vehicles back on. And let's watch our brand new super fast, super fly. Look at this thing go. Super fly, London to Edinburgh express train. That's looking real good. It's looking real, real good. Right. So, I mean, everything else, everything else is going okay in the UK. My competitors' trucks are, are still here. Less is more transportation. I mean, I can't help but noticing that uh, the companies the companies that are operating in this area and this area seem to be doing very, very well for themselves. Also, Portugal. Let's, let's get a license to Portugal. I think the way that I win is just by expanding, expanding, expanding into new territories as often as I possibly can. I think that's, I think that's my, my win condition here. I think it is. I think it is. I think it is. Okay, I also think that this line can support another train. Maybe a bit of a, a bit of an overstatement, but you know what? I think it's true. Brand new train. Excellent. And I would like to get the upgrade of higher speed, please. There we go. Send it. Okay, wonderful. I think I think that's good. I think that's good. I think the Minsk to Kaliningrad route is is strong. It looks it looks like there's a lot of money to be made there. Absolutely does. Okay, how's my yeah, my Edinburgh to London route is is doing great. It's doing real, real good. Can it in fact be doubled? I.e., is it possible for us to get another whole train? Another whole super advanced train? You know what? Honestly, it might. What about an upgrade? Higher speed? Higher speed is 50 grand. 
to be honest, I, I think optimistically, I think this could definitely support another high capacity cargo train on this route. Yeah. You know what? I actually, I actually genuinely do. I actually genuinely do. Okay, so if we have 500k, then we will get that, uh, we'll get that sorted. What's going on here? Vehicle is broken. Why are you not gonna go to Copenhagen? Yeah. Yeah, go to, Co go to Copenhagen. Go to Copenhagen. It's literally that simple. Come on. Uh, oh, actually, do I have a manager? Oh, I don't have a train manager. That's the problem. Okay. 100k to rent a to rent a train manager. That's fine. If that keeps us if that keeps us good, then that's then that's absolutely a okay. In my books. Yeah. Alright. So this is so this is still fine. This is still absolutely a okay. How many passengers are waiting? Can't even see because my flipping trains are in the way. Yeah, okay, maybe maybe a train is too much. Maybe a single train is too much. But I tell you what, I will get I will get on this route. What's the issue? Okay, another vehicle is broken down. I will get a I will get a vehicle. This one. Yeah, I will get that vehicle on there. I think that that's just about enough to be sustained on that route. You know, every little, every little, every little makes a difference, right? Every little makes a difference. That's what's important. Right, as soon as we hit 500k, let's buy, let's buy another super expensive, super expensive, super wacky cargo transporting train. There we go. We're almost there. Also, just look at the obscene amount of money that I've been able to accumulate. Look at the valuation of this company. It is doing it is doing oh so good. All right, excellent. Who has gone on strike? Okay. Pay my drivers whatever they whatever they need. I'm not paying them off though. That's that's ridiculous. I just don't want to deal with strikes. They're just they're just absolutely terrible. They're absolutely terrible. Okay. Oh, is that a plane? Oh my goodness, that's a plane. Rome to Palermo. You you think that you could maybe do a little bit more of an interesting flight, but apparently not. Wowzers. Okay, so my competitors are moving a whole bunch of cargo with 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 planes now. Right. That's that's terrifying. That is that is terrifying. Okay, where are you? Why are you just just go to the Copenhagen? Oh, okay, I see what the issue is here. Upgrade the capacity of the depot, upgrade maintenance level, upgrade maintenance level. Sure. There we go. All right. Honestly, Denmark has saved us. Denmark, Sweden, Finland, Norway, any other country insert here saved us. Honestly, we we are forever grateful to the Danish nation for saving our transport company. Truly, very, very grateful. I tell you what I wish I could do. I wish I could try and bid for less is more transport corps, uh, like UK operations. That would be pretty darn cool if I could do that. But unfortunately, doesn't look like I can. We're gonna have to make a bid. We're gonna have to make a bid with absolutely everything that we've got for, for dependable highway express. Right, let me have a little look at the graphs here. Right. We're we're in a good place. We're in a good place, I think. You know, we're we're in an okay place. Give me net not net worth, income. Yeah, look at this. Our income is is up there, to be honest. Like our income is up there. Before we had this horrific strike, my expenses are also up there. Yikes. Uh you know, so before we had this this horrific strike, we were we were up there. We were we were absolutely up there. And you know what? If we combine if we combine forces with Dependable Highway Express, then we'd be in a real good place. We'd be in a real, real, real good place. Okay, maybe the Minsk to Kaliningrad route cannot support as many passengers as I originally anticipated, but that's okay. It can support almost as many passengers as I originally anticipated. 
Right, where where can we eke out a little bit of extra value? I don't really want to pick up... I don't really want to pick up a brand new country quite yet. What about we, we see if we can maybe expand Belarus a little bit more? Yeah, what about... Yeah, what about over here? You know, we just throw down a couple of... Throw down a couple of trucks that, you know, frankly, don't do much, but will make us a little bit of money. Okay. There we go. I'm not even going to bother doing the surveys for these places. Is this my roots? This is my roots. This is my roots. Wait, this isn't my route. This is my route. Where, where, okay, what have I... What have I got? What have I got between... Between Minsk and... Man... How are drivers striking yet again? Oh, boy. I, I don't understand. I don't understand how we... I don't understand how we appease the drivers, to be honest. It's... It's dreadful. Okay. It really is... It really is miserable. It really is miserable. Uh, yeah. Did I did I get a a first class service? Do that there. Of course, I employ a driver and me immediately goes on strike. That's not a very good business decision. But I guess that's okay. I guess that's fine. All right. Employ a first class service over here. That's fine. That's just going to help make us a little bit more money. Okay. Here to here. What do these... What do these people want? They just want basic. Just basic transport, really. That's it. That's it. So, you know what? We'll get a couple of additional... couple of additional buses. A couple of additional drivers. I mean, I hate to employ more drivers. Given that I've not really had a... Tremendously positive experience with drivers, but that's okay, I guess. Going to depot? Oh my lordy, the cross-country depot journey that you must have to go on is frankly incredible. Give me a depot in... There we go. Go to the depot over there. Go to the depot over there. Broken vehicle. Where's a broken vehicle? Yeah, there's a lot of... There's a lot of... A lot of driving to get to the nearest depot over here. I wonder if it's almost worth getting a depot over here. Yeah, you know what? Build a depot over there. There we go. Go do that. Go do that. We got a depot in, I don't know, the Swedish, the Swedish highlands. The Swedish north? Up in the north. Also, can I do anything with Tbilisi? Not really. We need to get dependable highway co. We need to get dependable highway co. We need to get dependable highway co right now. Right now, right now, right now. But that's okay. That's okay. All right. We need a little bit more cash, and then we can pay off our loan, and then we're all good. So far, our valuation has increased tremendously, like a huge amount. Earthquake, earthquake in Minsk. Now that's good for us, actually. Like counterintuitively, that is that is good for us. We want, we want an earthquake here. Also, let's do a survey. Let's do a survey of this. Uh, 90 to 170. Okay, that's fine. Give me... Give me, give me, give me a brand new... A brand new truck on this route. Yep, absolutely. So I think what we're going to need to do is we're going to just need to, like, upgrade our existing... 90. Upgrade our existing routes and in some cases maybe get, you know, a couple of additional... A couple of additional, uh, a couple of additional vehicles here, there, and everywhere. You know, to keep, to keep things fresh, to keep things good. But that's it. You know, in, uh, in some cases, maybe we need to retire some vehicles. We'll do that. We'll absolutely do that. That's fine. Do I have a vehicle on this route? I don't have a vehicle on this route. Let's get a vehicle on this route as soon as possible, please. Okay, 127. Can that be done with a vehicle? 
technically yes, but it'll need to be it'll need to be a fast vehicle. It'll need to be a fast vehicle that costs 220,000. This is the one. That's okay though. We can do it. We can do it. We can do it. We can do it. Got a full understanding of exactly what exactly what needs to be serviced. Okay, 1.4107. Uh let's get let's get this. Let's get this. Let's get this first class bus as soon as we possibly can and we'll throw that onto the same route as well. You know, so each and every time we buy a bus, we are we are giving ourselves the opportunity to make money. And that's what is keeping me buying these buses. Even though I know in my heart of hearts, I should be saving. I should be saving to buy a dependable highway express. Like, they're only going to make more money, right? They're only going to make more money. So, theoretically, the sooner that I get my button gear and actually just, you know, and actually just, uh, just go for it. 12984 to 164. Fine. You know, as soon as I get my button gear and just actually start flipping saving to get this company that I've been talking about buying for the last, I don't know, six years, the better. But I just can't. I just can't help it. I just can't help it. I just can't help. I can't help it. I like. I like buying vehicles. It is a tremendously pleasurable experience. Tremendously pleasurable experience. 68, and we got 87. Okay, so I think this is good. I think this is good. I'm pretty happy with this. Okay, 74 to 154. Because I'm thinking that there's a lot of money to be made here. Okay, let's get a direct road connection. Nice. Okay, so linking up, linking up the differing towns in uh, in Sweden, in Finland, it's it's had a big old benefit for us, to be honest. Really made a lot of money here. We're not making super large amount of money, uh, super large amount of money in. Uh, oh goodness, I can never remember if this is Estonia, Lithuania, or Latvia. I think this is Lithuania. I think this is Estonia. I think this is Estonia. I think this is Latvia. I'm like, I, I'm like 90% on that. 90% on that. Okay. Right. Here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna go into, I'm gonna go into three times speed or four times speed, whatever the heck the speed is, uh, because I'm gonna force myself to actually save. Force myself to save. Now, what sort of premium are we gonna have to pay for Dependable Highway Express? If you'll recall, at the very beginning of the game, at the very beginning of the game. We tried to pay just above what we thought Less Is More Transport Co. was actually worth. Now, I'm going to take out a $3.3 million loan here. And then I'm going to see if we can try and bid. I'm going to see if we can try and bid for it. Okay. Less Is More Transport Co. is currently in the lead. Which is not good. Uh, no, it's not in the lead. What am I talking about? Uh, Accent Transport Inc is is in the lead I've, okay they've transported so many more so many more things than i have but that's okay that's okay that's fine all right what am i doing i'm going to companies dependable highway express let's offer three million let's offer three million for that i i think that's a deal i think that's a deal that um that they can be proud of now it would be it would be a huge steal if we could get it but I, I very much doubt that we're going to get it at that agreeable of a price, to be honest. You know, just straight up, we're probably not going to get it, right? We're probably not going to get it. They've just crested 4 million net worth. So again, like, you know, we, we move, we need to move quickly here. We need to move quickly. Right, 4.5 million. That's about as much as my line of credit will extend to. But that would be great. That would be really, really good. If we could get it. Come on. Come on, Dependable Highway Express. Together. Together we can we can take back our 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 position on the leaderboard. We can do it. We can do it. We can do it. I know we're six hundred thousand in debt at the moment, but that's okay. Come on, Dependable Highway Express. Always been dependable. Always been a highway express. Come on board. Together we can we can rule. We can rule the map. Come on. 
Do it. Do it. 4.5. 4.5 million. It's a fair offer for a good company. Are you just going to keep me here forever? Like what, what, what's the what's the time scale? It's been months. Offer rejected. What are you talking about? What are you talking about? Okay. Do we want to just keep offering the same the same amounts? Do we want to What do we want to do? I mean, we could buy could buy some really nice trains with this amount of money that we've got here. Let me go to the shop. We could buy an airplane license. We could do a lot of things. We could buy a license for somewhere for somewhere else. I mean, what is this? 36,000 survey. 169349. We could buy a 4 million a 4 million euro sorry, 4 million dollar 4 million dollar train that carries 500 bits of cargo. I mean, I'm 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 titillated to be honest. It's 54 grand for a survey. That's that's obscene. Uh 900 bits of cargo. What about from London? Can London do anywhere to like any territory that we've got control of at the moment? Let's do a survey over there. You know what? Let's do it. Let's do a London to Minsk train route? There were no travel demands? What are you talking about? Oh, sorry. Not to not to Minsk, to mana something something. My bad. My bad there. Okay. There we go. Okay. And then let's buy a four a four million dollar train. Do I really want to do this? Is this something that I actually want to do? Can I do, to be honest? Can I do? Four million dollars for a train. I'm disgusted by myself. I don't like it. I did it. Have I given up on buying Dependable Highway Express? Maybe. <laughs> My valuation has decreased tremendously. The bank did not like that. The bank did not like that. However, 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 I am gonna see, I am gonna see if it's at all possible how much money I make on this route here. Because there's a lot of money to be made here. There is a lot of money to be made here. Is this really the shortest route between London and this place? I don't know. I don't know. Dependable Highway Express, again, come on. Come on, bud. Come on. There's there's money to be made there. There's money to be made there. Okay, now, where else do I wanna where else do I wanna buy access to? How much does it cost to get access to uh, to Spain? I tell you what, let's start with Portugal. Portugal, let's buy a license for Portugal. Lisbon to Porto, let's do that. And then we're gonna buy the Spanish license over here. Yeah, yeah, for sure. It's gonna be great. Okay. Give me all of these. What do we got? Very, very slow demands. So I think we're just gonna do... We're just gonna do a nice, a nice bus. A nice casual bus that carries... I don't know. 28 passengers. 55 passengers. Do we have enough? We don't really have enough to sustain 55 passengers, to be honest. So we'll do that. We'll do... You want to be traveling at 149, which means that you, in an ideal world, want to be a train. Yeah, so we need to get a train if we're going to travel at 149. Uh, 149 miles an hour, and then this needs to be going at between 90 and 140. So you know what? Let's give you our biggest truck. No, our second biggest truck. Okay. Yeah, what about what about a luxury train? Luxury train just ain't quite worth it. Not yet, anyway. That's okay, though. That's okay. You know what? Give me another one of these buses. Give me another one of these buses. We'll throw another one of those. Yeah, throw another one of those buses onto the line. Right, so we got a good dependable route in Portugal, I think. That's going to make... It's going to make us uh, a good chunk of change. Very, very hopeful for that. And that's gonna be that's gonna be good. 
Uh, that should hopefully get me back in the good books with the bank after spending that egregious amount of money on a on a freight train. How much money is this freight train going to make me? After one single trip, I know it's taken, you know, like 20 minutes for it to get from one side of the map to the other side of the map, but how much is it going to make me? How much is it going to make me? This is what we care about here. It does take about 16 years to unload. That's okay. That's fine. How much money? $260,000. All right. I suspect that that's probably worth it. I suspect that that's absolutely worth it. Let's lower our prices ever so slightly. Look at that. Okay. Prices have been lowered. I can't get a speed upgrade, can I? I just, I checked. Yeah, I can't get a speed upgrade. There is no way that we can go faster. But either way, that's that's pretty good. That's pretty good. I'll take that. That's that's not too, not too, uh, not too bad. Okay. Then the Lisbon to Portugal routes. Very, very happy with this. To be honest, I actually think that maybe we can sustain another... Another truck, perhaps? But, ah, you know what? We don't need to worry about that. Okay. So, again, the bank is... The bank is back in my good books. Dependable Highway Express is continuing to gain momentum. I don't know how much of a premium we're going to have to pay in order to get... In order to get access to that. Also, who's that? Who's that with an airplane? This, the flights that the flights that they're flying are, are stupidly small. You don't want to fly bigger flights. I don't know. I don't know why you would just you know why you would bother with with these piddly little ones. To be honest, doesn't make sense. Uh, but hey ho, that's fine. Plymouth to. Yeah, I mean, is there any other routes that we can get up and running in uh, in the British Isles? I don't think so. I don't think so at all. I think that's just about the extent of what we're able to do. All right, 900 grand. Lovely. Pay off that bank loan. Excellent. Good stuff. I do enjoy paying off bank loans early. Oh, look at this. Look at this. Minsk to Tbilisi, look at that. Ah, oh, a thousand, a thousand bits of cargo there. A thousand bits of cargo. Oh my goodness, that is so tantalizing. Let me click on Minsk, please. There we go. A th I gotta, I gotta actually unironically create this route. I, I have to, 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 I have to. Okay, so now, now, what is the train that we want? I mean, can we get the biggest and the best cargo train? It's gonna cost me nine million. It's gonna cost me nine million dollars. If I want to do that. What's the what's the rate that you demand cargo to be transported at? I mean honestly, I kinda do want to buy the nine the nine million dollar train. But if I do that, then I know that I'm gonna be in a world of hurt. Cause, well, frankly, I can't afford it, so it would be a miracle if it was indeed possible. Hmm. Yeah, maybe I'll have to settle for the four million. The $4 million train. Alternatively, what if I put... What if I put you... What if I put my, my big train... What if I put my big train on it? Like, I just extend the route of the big train. It's kind of, like, on route, I guess. Kind of? Yeah, I feel like... I feel like it deserves its own... If it's its own train. You know, if we're going to commit to it, then that... It needs... It needs a decent amount. Okay, how much... How much cargo is actually in this city? How much cargo is actually in the city? I can't even see. 540 bits of cargo? Yeah, there should be enough there. there. Definitely should be enough there. There we go. Excellent. Right, a fuel price increase? That sucks. That sucks a lot. The problem is, is that I think it's just going to take too long for this train to make its money back. So if I have a little look at the stats, for example. Open feedback. Yeah, we need we need more speed. Just after a little bit more speed, irritatingly. Uh, how much money have you made? Yeah, net profit last month, 400,000 bucks. Cargo capacity, 349. 
It's not fast enough. It's not fast enough. We need faster trains. We need faster and faster and faster trains. The ticket prices are are acceptable. The ticket prices are acceptable. It's just that the speed the speed people demand is getting faster and faster and faster, which is going to take us into which is going to take us into airplane territory very very shortly indeed. Okay. Speaking of airplane territory, how are, how are things looking? You know what? It's time for a brand new... It's time for a brand new bus. Oh my god, why am I paying these drivers so much? Look at how much I have to pay them! Look at how much I have to pay them. What's the issue here? Like, what's... Do they have an issue with their working conditions or something? I, I don't know. Also, I've crested 8 million valuation, which is obscene and incredible. Thank you very much to everyone who believed in me. I didn't think that we'd get to this point, but I'm super glad that we that we did. Also, let's throw in a brand new bus onto that route, which again, you know, it's not a great business decision to do that whilst the uh, whilst the drivers are striking, but that's okay. Let's continue to expand to new markets. Five hundred thousand bucks to get access to to get access to Spain. Is that what we want to do, or do we want to save up for a Tbilisi to a Tbilisi to Minsk trip? Do the survey. 184. Do we have a train that goes at 184? We could get away with doing... Perhaps this train here. Yeah. But even that is still... It's still a risk because it's such a long route. It's going to take a considerable length of time to just make its money back. Which, yeah, not exactly over the moon about. Are we better? Are we safer just going for, just going for Spain? I think we might just be better safer just going for Spain. Okay, give me the access. Give me the access permit to get into Spain. Excellent. Okay, so Madrid is like the city, capital city, airport, sports venue, winter holidays. Oh my goodness, it is the place to freaking be. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. 116. 116. Right, first of all, let's set this up. Let's set this up over here. Is it better just to go for a railway route? I tell you what, it actually straight up might be better just to go for a railway route between Madrid and La Coruna. All right. Railway routes, excellent. More cash, please. That would be great. And let's see if we can try and get maybe a decent sized train or maybe just two like small piddly trains. That would be kind of nice. Okay, let's see how let's see how that works. Let's see how that works. And then the other train that we wanted to get traveling at 112. Yeah, you know what? Give me a cheap a cheap common train. That's fine. It'll cost us three hundred thousand dollars, but that'll be a worthwhile endeavor. Man, there is a lot of there is a lot of money to be made here. One three eight. Excuse me. Oh, whoops. So that is from there to there, and we're gonna need to get another. Okay, this is too juicy. I can't turn this down. We gotta we gotta expand into into Spain as fast as we possibly can. Dependable Highway Co. Dependable Highway Express. You're going to have to wait. Excuse me? Oh, that's... No, that is... That's weird. Okay, go on to that. Travel immediately. Go on to that route. Uh, yeah, so we know that it's between 138. Sure. Uh, maybe I get a more expensive train? See if that makes a difference. There should be plenty of cargo. We'll give it a shot. Okay. Then from here... Sure, go for this. Nice, 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 nice. Okay. And then we'll, we're will we also going to go for a first class train as well. There's no passengers. They want to travel at 168. And at two and a half stars. Ah, can we increase the quality? Higher comfort seats more luxurious you know what go for it are there passengers now uh 
Have I done this on the wrong routes? No. There should be... Where the heck are the passengers? Where the heck are the passengers? I had a line. I had a line for... A huge number of passengers. Okay, you know what? Do that in there, and then just stick... That onto there. Travel immediately. Yeah, go for it. I don't know why that... Uh... Was I just clicking on the wrong thing? I might have been clicking on the wrong thing, but... Weird. Oh, I did this. Yeah, yeah, this was it. Okay, so it's Madrid to... That place over there. Which is called Lisbon. That's right, Lisbon. Only the capital of Portugal, potato. Don't worry about it, though. Don't worry about it. And I think... Oh. I was a little bit shy of the cash, but now I've got the cash. Uh, people are unhappy about that, but that's okay because we can just get a higher quality comfort increase. Or alternatively, people could just, you know, not be happy about that, I guess. I guess we can move this onto the onto the route there, see if that makes any difference. People are still unhappy with it. Okay, you know what? Let's sell this train. Let's sell this train and just and just give us the the better the better tier the better tier train. Yeah, I think that's I think that's okay. Stops all transit in the city. That's that's not exactly ideal. Not exactly ideal at all. Okay. The Spanish the Spanish expansion has been has been interesting. 57 people waiting to be transported over there. This is too this is too big. This this train is too big for for this route here. That's for sure. We still have plenty of cargo that needs to be transported on that line. But it's just too big. It's too big. The train is is too 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 big. Yeah. All right. You know what? Give me Give me that over there, and then give me that over there. All right, see if that makes any difference. So fewer, fewer passengers. See if that makes any difference. Right, Barcelona. It's a pretty big city, Barcelona, right? Let's do a survey in there. 36 grand? 131. Right, let's do that in there. And then we're going to stick a, re a really decently sized train. Really decently sized train. 500k on that route. Barcelona to Madrid. Excellent. Let's do that. So that's looking good. Bilbao. Bilbao to... Where do we want to go? Yeah, th these routes are not gonna... They're not gonna make money for a little while because of the riot. But that's okay. That's fine. Bilbao to Madrid. 114. I think that we can do that with just a... Bus route and survey there. 18 grand. We're paying a lot for surveys, by the way, now, but that's okay. Uh, a train. A train. A train would go. A train would do this. A train would do this. A train needs to do this. A train needs to do this chunk of the route. So I guess we'll do that. That's fine. And then maybe we'll get a road route as well, just for the regular passengers gonna be slightly quicker too not like that really matters i don't think distance uh or speed speed of journey actually matters but there you go anyway the first class the first class people can go fast on the train and everyone else can go on the bus how fast does this bus go at can i get stats please uh no i can't get stats 115, 115 miles an hour. How how fast? Oh, actually, you know what? Tell you what, you go over here. Travel immediately. There you go. If we've got an oversupply of buses in this vicinity, then that is excellent because that is going to make us a big old difference. It's gonna it's gonna help help us out just a smidgen. Okay, this is good. This is good. This is good. This is good. Okay, I'm probably overpaying my drivers quite significantly now. Can adjust the price that they're willing to take. Excellent. Save ourselves. Uh, a little bit of cash in the meantime. That's real nice. Good stuff. 
Can I increase the capacity? Increase the capacity of this train. I could very well do that. Could very, very well do that. Okay. This is good. This is good. Dependable Highway Express, though, is still making an obscene amount of money. And I'm not happy about that. I'm not happy about that. Not enough money to do this. We don't have enough money to do anything. We are in a state of cash flow paralysis at this moment in time. Is every single route profitable? I think every single route is profitable, right? Birmingham to Edinburgh? We just don't have any vehicles on that. Uh... Yeah, we just don't have any vehicles for that. Also, let's... Yeah, there's just not enough demand on that route. Everything is profitable. Everything is pros possible. Everything is possible and everything is profitable. Apart from... Apart from... This route here. Kar Karuna. Alrighty, okay. Well, you know what? There's one vehicle on there. Let's just sell it. Sell it and forget about it. There we go dealt with dealt with that unprofitable route everything else is profitable everything else is 100% uh, profitable okay excellent pretty pretty happy about that to be honest pretty darn happy about that as i say spain is spain is going to be our cash cow for a little while there's a lot of money to be made here 4500 bucks oh lovely okay we can get a nice cheap nice cheap bus on this route since we know that passengers don't care about traveling fast, which is excellent. Uh, to 121 miles an hour. Sure. In fact, can we get... Can we get this? If we get this bus, if we actually over... If we oversupply... People are still interested? People are definitely still interested. Okay, that's nice. That's very, very nice. So let's transport first class and uh, economy class passengers at the same time. So that'd be pretty good. Valencia, can we do Valencia to Barcelona? Holy cow, that's that's a need for speed right there. Okay, I don't think that we can do that with buses. I think we'll have to do that with uh, a train. Passenger train at that. Probably this one, the one that costs 300, 300,000 bucks. You know what, we'll give it a shot. We'll give it a shot. We'll see if we can try and get ourselves a big passenger train. Nice expensive one. There's money to be made in Spain. There's always money to be made in Spain. That's right. That is right. There's no other companies, there's no other there's no other companies even remotely near. So, you know, that's nice. It's nice. Okay, come on. Come on. How how much money did I need? I needed a million. I needed a million at least. I think a million is honestly probably okay. Yeah. There's 60 passengers waiting over there. In fact, how how fast do these people want to travel? 181. So they do need to be on... They do need to be on this state-of-the-art train here. Which is a bit of a pain in the backside, to be honest. I don't like spending a million bucks on a train. That does seem... That does seem a little pricey from my perspective. Does seem a little bit pricey. But... You know what? That's okay. Boy, oh boy, there's so much, there's so much money to be made on this route here as well. Like, La Caruna to, uh, to Lisbon. Boy, oh boy, oh boy, that's a lot of money. That's a lot of money right there. That is a lot of money. Okay. Do we try again to maybe buy out Dependable Highway Express? Is that, is that the play here? I think that maybe is the play. What's the travel speed requirements? What if I upgrade your speed? There we go. Don't want to bother increasing the durability. That's fine. Okay, I'm sort of losing focus because there is so many like expensive trains that need to be bought in different places. Right. You know what? Let's do let's do a nice a nice slow small bus here. There we go. Nice slow small bus. Valencia here. 
Again, yeah, we can probably just do these like little these like little routes. We can do them with we can do them with small little piddly vehicles. Yeah, I probably don't need to be spending money on surveys in order to ascertain the passenger demands for the smaller routes. Yeah. 163. You know what? Let's go for a uh Excuse me? 163. Yeah. 163 and 2.4 stars. Oh. I need to yeah, in a weird weird way, I need to spend 300 grand on upgrading my seats here, which is super weird, but whatever. I'll do it. I'll do it because I bought the train now, but I probably wouldn't have done this. I don't know why it counts 2.4 stars, even though this thing has clearly got 2.5 stars, right? Or it looks like it's got 2.5 stars. Uh, it still doesn't want to... It still doesn't want to work unless you get the luxury seat upgrade, which then apparently makes everything work just that much better. Okay, bank loan update time. Eh, we're doing okay. We're doing okay on the bank on the bank loan update front. The bank loan is is there. It's there. It's still existing. Survey here 164. That looks like a cheap train to me. Nope, that's another expensive train that we need to get in order to go over the once the the 164 threshold. Oh boy, there's just so much there's just so much money to be made. It just costs an absolute arm and a leg. I'm just putting together a small little... A small little first class route between Madrid and Salamanca there, which is good. But yeah, we need at least a million now to buy... To buy new, new trains. Which is a bit of a pain in the backside, to be honest. A bit of a pain in the backside. Yeah, not over the moon about that. Looks like my upgraded my upgraded train did indeed end up working out. Very very happy with that. Uh, do we want to save up for a million for a million dollar train, million dollar passenger train? To be honest, it's probably not the worst idea in the world. Probably not the worst idea in the world at all. If we can guarantee this, if we can guarantee the passengers, then I guess we might as well. I guess we might as well do it. Also, the Barcelona to Madrid cargo route seemingly is in a great place yeah i guess we just want to get another one of those trains did i not do a survey here i guess i didn't do a survey for the cargo route between madrid and barcelona i guess i'm okay with that i guess that's fine uh, i also still want to i still want to go between i still want to go between tbilisi and minsk how much cargo is there now 1,140? That's a lot of cargo. It's a lot of cargo waiting there. Okay, so this this is interesting. So this is coming from London, this uh, this cargo delivery over here. Let's wait until this is done. And then I'm actually going to see if we can try and put this on the Minsk to Tbilisi route. The reason why is... Yeah, the reason why is that I want to see if the train is able to get fuller. If the train is able to get fuller, then that would, then that would be excellent for us. So if we're able to fill up above about 350 units then that would be that would be excellent for us because that means that there's more money to be made uh it's round about the same and there's no way that we can get a speed upgrade so unless we go for a proper nine million dollar locomotive we're we're doing we're making pretty much no difference there okay that's fine all right well the good news is the good news is is that we have crested Crested a milestone. This needs to get upgraded. Upgrade capacity. Upgrade capacity. Upgrade maintenance level. Cool. We'll get that all sorted out. Lovely. Uh, I did say that if I had a million bucks, I would spend it on a train between there. How on earth is that not what you're after? 2.5 stars? That's 2.5 stars. 188 miles an hour? That's... What are you talking about? 188 miles an hour. This is this is it. This is it. What are you doing? You're unhappy? I get that you're unhappy. But this is this is what the people this is what the people wanted between Barcelona and uh between Barcelona and Valencia. Up 
grade, higher comfort, perhaps? I don't want to go for higher comfort. It's a big fat no for me. Seville to... You know what? Try going... Try going from Seville to Lisbon. Try that. Actually, hold up. No. Yeah, try... Uh... I can't see Jack. Yeah, try going from Seville to Lisbon. See if that makes any difference. Okay, travel immediately. Excellent. Don't know why you're waiting around. Yeah, not entirely sure why that's why that's still taking uh, taking a little bit of time, but that's fine. Right, bank loan situation. Eleven point something percent is what we've got access to at this moment in time. What the heck is going on? A fire. How many days? Ten days. Use a, a detour. Sure. You not? Why are you? Uh, why are you not working? Why are you not working here? Go 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 go. Oh, is there a fire here too? I guess the fire blocked the the railway. I guess that kind of makes sense. I guess that kind of makes sense. Also, the demand between Zaragoza and Madrid has just completely dried up. A deadly disease. Oh, a deadly virus is affecting citizens. Severely restricted to contain the outbreak. Okay, that makes that makes perfect sense. That makes perfect sense as to why that is occurring. I guess this is not something that I anticipated, uh, but like wildfires in Spain? Bit of a problem, actually. Okay, again, this route is is just not it's just not bearing. It's just not bearing anything. What the heck? We're just not able to make money from our uh, from our train. 202 miles an hour? What does this thing travel at? This thing travels at a fairly decent speed, to be honest. It travels at 215. Better... Again, there's just no point of having this, this thing around. How much did I buy it for? A million? And I'm going to sell it for 600,000? I'd rather just have the money back. If we're if we're not going to be able to, to transport anyone or anything, then you know what? I'll just take it. Right, Madrid is is getting back on its feet after a pretty abysmal little uh, little while, but that's fine. Okay, so we can take out a decent loan here. I'm going to pay off this loan in just a second. Uh, 1.2 million is what I need to do that. So we've crested 10 million valuation. That's fine. I'm determined to see if we can try and get dependable highway express. I'm going to make one last attempt to try and do it. I'm going to make one last attempt to try and do it. And we'll see if we're able to get there. Also, aircraft. Aircraft look like they're, they're going to be the next hot thing. I don't know how much it costs to buy a plane, though. That's the only problem. That is the only problem. Might cost us more than I uh, than I have in store. Okay, we can take out a five million dollar loan here. Let's go. Let's go advanced mode for a little while. I'm a little bit worried about Ascent Transport Inc. and their valuation because that is obscenely high. That is very very high right now. Very 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 high indeed. Can I pay my drivers a little bit less? Turns out I can pay my drivers a lot less, and I should be I should be keeping on top of that a lot more than I currently am. Okay, that's good. So there could still be strike action, but I'm not worried about it. Okay, let's take out a, a seven million dollar loan. Let's see. Let's make uh let's make a deal. Let's make a deal. Dependable Highway Express. Seven million dollars. I am overpaying. I am overpaying by around about a million dollars in relation to their net worth. I know this could be risky. I'm waiting for a response. I want to get the deal in the bag. I think they rejected it. I think they rejected it. Yeah, they rejected it for sure. I didn't see it. I didn't see it come up on the uh, come up on the little screen there, but that's fine. Okay, can we can we just like offer more this time? 
I'm gonna offer. I'm gonna offer another uh, another 7.2 million dollar offer. I, I I think that there's a there's a deal to be had here. Please don't strike. Don't strike. Just don't strike. I need my trains. I need my trains. They're very very important. Very 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 highly important. Okay, have we got it? No, we haven't. Also, there's another disease. There's a, there's a disease up in... What's this? Tartu. How are you still striking? 83 grand to pay off the drivers? No, let's not worry about that. Okay, so we've got seven... We got seven million in the bank right now. Let's wait until the end of the month, see exactly how much we can get. And then let's make another record-breaking offer for Dependable Highway Express. We have to try. We have to try Dependable Highway Express. This is the way that I get myself back in the game. It's going to increase our, our operating profit. Because you are still making money, I hope. If not, then uh, there's not much point in buying you up. Again, another rejection. Okay, what is the what is the calculation that is done? What is the calculation that is done in order to calculate the chance of a successful buyout? Because I am offering like a million bucks over the over the current net worth of the company. I feel like that should be I feel like that should be within within range. Let's offer 8.4 million. Again, we are growing faster. We are growing faster. Our net worth is growing much, much faster than than everything else. Look at my income, by the way. Holy cow. My expenses are are, uh, are also a little bit higher. Oh yeah, that counts. That's because my loan is, is in there, apparently. Okay. Transported passengers. I, I'm actually creeping up there. I'm doing a very, very good job of transporting passengers. So, you know what? We might be... We might be uh, in the victory condition for transporting number of passengers. That's for sure. It's definitely, definitely an option. Oh, boy. Okay. Well, that's that's deeply frustrating that we're not able to just pin down a deal. Must say. I was kind of really, really hoping that we'd get, uh, we'd get something, we'd get something agreed. But, uh, if we don't, then we don't, you know, it is, it is what it is. Okay. 192, let's do, let's do this. And let's do this as well. Cool. All right. Two, two reasonably, two reasonably quick deals that we can get. Okay, take down the price a little bit. Take down the price a little bit. Okay, apparently that was the wrong bus for the job. Still haven't secured the... Still haven't secured the company. Apparently not. Apparently not. I have two hulking great loans. We've offered... We've offered 8.4 million. Come on. Come on, let's do it. Okay, this is the wrong offer rejected. What do you want? What do you want? I feel like I'm very, very close to being able to see through the matrix here. But not quite, you know? But not quite. Alright. The speed is too low. The speed is too low for luxurious passengers and also the higher comfort. Let's get higher comfort there. Okay, that, that nails it. Cool. So sometimes a little bit of additional comfort is all that you need. Wonderful, 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 wonderful. Okay, well, you know what? I'm going to pay off my bank loans then, if that's the case. Pay off my bank loans it still leaves me with a huge amount of money. 11 million. 11 flippin' million. 11 million. Okay, you know what? Biggest offer, 10 million. I'm paying three million above the asking price for Dependable Highway Express. Dependable Highway Express, please become mine. Net income. It is making money, right? It is making money. That's good. It's making money, I think. It is making money. I think it's making money. I don't think it's making much money, but I think it's making money, nonetheless. Okay. Oh boy. Okay, so Spain, Spain on the whole still needs to be expanded like a lot. Like there is there is a lot of There's a lot of juice to be had. There's a lot of juice to be had in Spain. Okay, yeah. Let's do that. Uh yeah, there is there is a lot more that can 
there's a lot more that can be done here. Okay, we want to go from Porto to Seville. And we'll get another, another train in there. Cool. Okay, if I get the company, I don't know what the heck happens. I don't know what the heck happens, but I'm determined to try and get the company. We got another million in us. Uh, so worst case scenario, we, we offer another million for the company. But I really don't want to do that. I think my net worth is going to take a little bit of a pounding anyway. Just because of the fact that I'm, I'm going to end up, you know, going to end up. What are you what are you doing? Yeah, you're on that route. Let's get another another one of those trains. Uh yeah, I, I have a funny feeling that uh that my net worth's gonna take enough of a hit as it currently stands. But if that's what it takes in order to buy out a company, then that's what it takes in order to buy out a company. Dependable Highway Express, you've been you've been lagging behind. Now is finally the time where I can where I can seal the deal. We can get a bargain. Sport event. Lisbon to La something or other. Yeah, and then let's get a higher speed upgrade on you. No. Okay, apparently that wasn't it. Offer rejected? Really? You're kidding me. You're kidding me. What what on earth do I have to offer in order to get this in order to get this deal done? Eleven million? I, I can't go higher than 11 million, can I? I can offer 11 million? I mean, this is just, it's just crazy. It's just crazy. It is just crazy. Okay, give me a... That's already a route. I'll travel immediately up there. See if that makes any difference. Oh wait, hold up, did I buy... I bought entirely the wrong train. Yeah, this is a passenger train. Whoops. We need we need to find a passenger route quick. 164. Uh how fast does this thing travel? Doesn't travel fast enough. Okay. Whoops. Whoops, 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 whoops. Okay. Uh We need to we need to find we need to find a passenger. We need to find a passenger route for this thing. What about in the UK? We don't really have much of a train network in the UK at all. We just sort of left it for ages, actually. Sure. Let's do that. And it's going to take us, like, I don't know, 20 years to drive up there. But let's stick... Stick that over there. Right, fine. Okay, it's gonna cost ages and ages and ages in, uh, or it's gonna take a long time and therefore it's gonna cost us a lot of money. Also, we need a depot here. I didn't realize, but we need to build a depot. Yep, we need to upgrade that depot's capacity to the max. And we also need to get a rail depot. Yep. And the rail depot is probably fine. Just being, like, two, two cars at the moment. The road depot I did need to improve, but that's fine. Okay, I, I mean, if we don't if we don't manage to seal the deal on Dependable Highway Express, I, I don't know what more can really be done. I've tried my best. What did you do? What did you do? Ascent Transport Inc.? What the heck happened here? What the heck happened here? We got a defeat? We got a big old defeat? What the heck happened? Wait, how how many uh, how many units did you manage to transport? What was the victory condition? I was I was in there though. I was in there with regards to transported units. It wasn't vehicles. I don't think it was net worth because net worth was set at like a hundred thousand. So it must have been units transported, presumably. Six hundred thousand units transported. That's a real shame because I feel like we were really we were really 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 in that. 130 vehicles. So what was the strategy there? I mean, the strategy was, I think, expanding quickly into Portugal, not into Portugal, into France, Germany, and then just getting a good deal, getting a good amount of routes up and running. Because the cities develop, I believe, as you supply them with more, with more stuff. But I mean, right from the beginning, 
there was a there was a decent lead there. My my one mistake I think at the uh, in the early game was allowing less is more transportation to continue to exist as a company. But then again, it's like I tried to buy Dependable Highway Express towards the end there, and I was offering like four million above above the asking price, and still I I didn't manage to I didn't manage to sort it out. It's irritating that net income includes loans, because if it didn't include loans, it would be useful. My income was very, very high because it included multiple, multiple, multiple loans. But hey ho, have you enjoyed this series, folks? I have actually. I think I might be um might be playing it again. But it depends. It's entirely it's entirely up to you. Let me know in the comments down below if you think I should uh, I should give it another crack. Because if so, I absolutely will. But for now, thank you very much for watching this little mini-series of Transport Inc. Thank you, as ever, to all of the fantastic support over on the Patreon page, patreon.com forward slash over potato. Also, thanks to Banana Nanana, C Senpai, and Aurelio for being the three $25 plus tier patrons. Thank you very much for watching, folks. I'll see you next time. Bye.